guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Malt, and we are here with some base reviews. I'm so happy to be here with you guys. Uh, today, we're working on some Town Hall 9 bases. We got a couple farming bases. We got a couple of trophy bases. So why don't we go ahead and jump into this? So number one is my dude, Nate. We are reviewing his base. Um, and let's go ahead and talk about it. So one thing that I noticed first off is this, uh, this cool little... Uh, section right here so there's no walls in between there that's really really good for distracting uh, troops and making them patrol around the base and whatnot so that's really really good uh, first off to have that now let's talk about this uh, upper section right here um, <clears throat> so you look at that and you see this section right here that has no buildings in it that's really good as well because troops are going to attack both of these sections and then they're not going to know what to do unless wall breakers have gotten in here and opened this up. If the wall breakers don't make it in, then the troops are going to turn around and head back outside of the base. So that's really, really good first off. Um, we can see that his mortars do a great job of covering the whole base. So good job there. Um, his air defenses up here are a little bit exposed, but not too bad because there are um, cannons right here and right here uh, protecting the air defenses. So... That makes it a little bit better. It might be good if they were archer towers, so I might consider taking this archer tower, putting it right there, taking this archer tower, putting it right there, just because that way um, you have an air, a defense that attacks air and ground troops protecting your air defense. Also, that way you'll have archer, cannon, archer, cannon, archer, cannon, archer, uh, cannon, because you'll switch these two right here. Archer, Cannon, Archer. So definitely make sure that you switch those two. I think that's going to make the base uh, protected just a little bit better all the way around. Um, now you do have a little inviting area of loot up here, which is great for trophies because people will attack that heavily just to try and get some loot from you, as well as this right here. Um, so that's really, really good. That's one tactic that a lot of people use uh, to make their base, <clears throat> uh, I don't know, more defensively strong because people will just go for the loot instead of uh, the trophies. Now you do have a lot of upgrading to do so I might consider um, farming for a little while but again that's up to you. You are at 2600 so you're probably pushing up to champs to see if you can get up there or not and you're using hogs so good luck with that. Um, I do like these wizard towers but you don't get that much coverage with your wizard towers right here. Uh, I would I would consider moving um, shoot maybe moving one of them right here and then once you move this archer tower up move it to right there just so that you can spread out your wizard towers a little bit more because right now you've just kind of got a line with them or if you're gonna keep them down here then you need to bring your Tesla's up here so take the this Tesla and this Tesla and put them up there because you're gonna need some more damage up top um, especially since these mortars are ranged any troop that's right around here isn't going to take any damage from the mortar. So I would just pay a little bit of attention to that. But otherwise, the base design looks pretty cool. I really like this little trap area right here, uh, as well as this section and this section. So great job with that. Now let's go ahead and move on from Nate's base and go to Matt's base. So Matt is a farmer. He's got a farming base. Uh, he's got a good amount of dark elixir on his base right now. He's protecting his elixir as well. Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and talk about it. So you got your four mortars. Looks like they're all the same level. So good job with that. You definitely do have some upgrading to do, um, but it's okay, don't we all? <laughs> so your mortars look good, uh, and your wizard towers look good as well, protecting that. Same with your air defenses. Now your air defenses are a little bit exposed on the outside um, of the base. They can get taken out fairly easily, um, especially like this one and this one. Well, that one has a Tesla next to it, so this one. Uh, those can get taken out fairly easily. So if you get attacked by a lot of air defenses, then I would definitely uh, change that. This right here looks like it's put just to ground. Uh, so I, might, I would change that, especially if you're going to have your mortars or especially if you're going to have your air defenses uh, so exposed. So let's go ahead and talk about your point defenses. You've got your archer, uh, cannon, archer, cannon, archer, cannon, archer, cannon, archer, cannon. Archer. So great job. You did that all the way around the base. Awesome, awesome job with that. You've also done a good job of spreading out your uh, resources. I would take this, however, this barrack, put it right in here, 
switch that up just because you want to have as few of your resources next to each other as possible. So again, take this barrack <coughs> um, and probably put it right here or somewhere around there just to spread it out a little bit. Um, overall, the base looks pretty good. You've got this whole little section right here, uh, as well as this whole little section right here, and this little section right here, and this little section right here. So that's really, really cool. That's gonna do a great, great job of funneling the troops um, around the base and not allowing them to go to the center unless the person has wall breaker. So good job with there. I actually like that base design. Um, let's move on <clears throat> once again. So we've got a uh, clan castle in the middle on this one, which is awesome. These look like level one Teslas. So definitely work on boosting those up. Uh, this looks like it's pointed toward ground. I'm not sure it could be pointing up. Uh, this one's definitely pointing up. So I would always have those pointing up for sure. Uh, this looks a lot like that base that we just looked at. Let's pull that up again. It's not, but it looks a lot like it. So you got these little trap areas, um, which are really cool. Uh, great, great job of creating a funneling area as well around the base. Um, and then the same goes for once they get in here, they've got these big sections that they've got to deal with before they get into the center of the base. So that's really, really good. You've got your wizard towers that need a lot of upgrading but they're positioned well uh, mortars as well positioned awesome and uh, same with your air defenses they are uh, a little more protected than that last base that we looked at so good job with that uh, one big thing is that you have a lot of loot right here a lot of loot right here um, and I would take some of the you don't need barracks next to each other anymore since an update from like a year ago when you can scroll through them. So I would spread your barracks out uh, around the base <clears throat> just so that you don't have all this loot next to each other because if you're gone all night and your shield goes away, somebody's gonna get a bunch of loot from that easily without having to deploy any troops on this side of the base. So definitely switch that up, but otherwise the base looks pretty cool. Keep on upgrading, you're doing a great job, Harrison. And we're gonna move on to our last one, uh, Pizzle Void 2. Uh, this base looks pretty sweet. You've got a lot of loot on it, so good job with that. Uh, the center of the base looks awesome. You got your clan castle in there along with your dark elixir and your heroes right there. Um, so that's that's key. But one thing that you have to be careful with with having the heroes in the center of the base is that once troops get in here, they're going to go from attacking all of this stuff and they're going to head right over here um, and head towards the center of the base. So I would generally try and just put your heroes not necessarily in the core, uh, but maybe put a hero right here and a hero right here and then move uh, air defenses into the center or something like that because the air defenses do or because the heroes do draw troops into them. Um, so that can be a little bit annoying. I've definitely been learning about that lately. Uh, I like this little trap area right here. That's really, really cool. Uh, I'm sure that that works well. Same with this one right here uh, with those spring traps in there. That's a great use of your traps. Uh, your core is really, really strong. I like the fact that you have your archer towers on the outside. However, I believe their range is a little bit better than the cannons. Um, so you might want to consider moving your cannons out there because you want to protect your archer towers more than your cannons because your archer towers shoot down air troops as well. So I might consider moving those in here. But one thing that I do notice is that you don't have uh, your point defenses spread out enough. So you got archer, cannon, archer, cannon. Well, it's not too bad. Archer, cannon archer and then i guess you've got cannon archer cannon archer so it's fine um <clears throat> i guess i spoke too soon on that one but i would maybe consider bringing in your air defenses right there just to help protect that uh your air defenses your archer towers which are air defenses uh they do help protect against air troops i might bring those in as well um your wizard towers look good um I might move them in where the air defenses are, but then your air defenses are gonna be more exposed. So if you're getting attacked by a lot of air troops, then go ahead and leave those there. If not, you might wanna consider moving in your wizard towers um, just because I love them and I want them to be protected uh, as well as possible. Uh, your mortars look good. That's great mortar placement on there for sure. Same with your air defenses. They cover the base really, really well. And you also did a good job of spreading out your resources. Uh, you've got three next to each other right here, three next to each other right here. Uh, so you could take this and put it right, uh, put it right here, and take this and put it right there, and that'll spread them out even more. But again, that's just up to you. The base looks really good. Uh, I would spread these out. I would put one right here and one right here. 
because their range is uh, their range is pretty good. You could even put one right here and one right here, um, and they'll still overlap. So I wouldn't put them right next to each other though, just because you want them to be spread out a little bit more. Um, overall, the base looks pretty good. This gold right here is would be pretty easy to get to, um, but your core looks pretty solid. So good job. But that's gonna be it for these base review guys. If you want your base review, if you want your base to be reviewed, send an email to base reviews with molt. Make sure that the title has your town hall level, uh, your trophy level, and whether you are a farming or a trophy base. All right, because I get thousands of emails and I need to be able to go through them quickly and effectively. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed. And as always, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, all right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.